And what am I calling you? Ariel. Ariel. Mm -hmm. Like the mermaid. Like the mermaid, yes. <laughs> Ariel, uh, where are you from? Where'd you grow up? Um, I grew up in the Inland Empire. So like San Bernardino. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your family. Um, I have both my parents. I have my mom and my dad. Um, I grew up very good, actually. Um, very family-like oriented. Um, my brothers and my sisters and um, my parents were immigrants. So um, they had came to this country um, and, you know, they just did they their come, best. Where they come from? My mom is from Costa Rica. And then my dad is from Panama. Hmm. Yeah. So, so yeah. your childhood was pretty good? It was you know, no problems in it? I, I don't think, like, every childhood is, is like, perfect. Like, everyone's going to have their own, like, problems and issues and stuff. Mm -hmm. But... Um, the good did outweigh the bad, so. How far did you go in school? Um, I graduated high school. It's very good. Um, I did a, li a little bit of college. Not not like that much, but maybe like a year. And how how did you get introduced to sex work? Um, growing up, I was very sheltered. Which, which is weird to say, because like sex work and you know, it doesn't yeah, make any sense. But um, I, I was always like the black sheep of like my family. And I just seen more than what I shouldn't have. So growing up, um, being around like friends and stuff who weren't that good of a influence um, they kind of like showed me like how to get fast money, and that's basically how I got introduced to have it. You, have you done other types of sex work before yeah. this? Well, you have. Mm -hmm. There's a few different ways to get fast money. Oh, for sure, yeah. There's like OnlyFans, there's escorts, prostitutions, there's cams, stripping. Have you tried all these? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and stripping is your main thing or is it just where, where I find No, it? it's like one of one of my main things. So like, um, it's not like all I do. I feel like I do more of like escorting than... Oh, you do? Yeah, than like a stripper. Yeah, but I get it. But even working as a stripper, you can sometimes yeah, turn that into... Yeah, you turn dates. Yeah. So that's always good. I feel like being in the club and it's a little bit more safer in some type of way because like yeah because like you have like security over there there's cameras and stuff which the cameras don't even work out the time but um you can just turn your dates in there and it's just way easier and way safer than like i don't know being on the streets or like online so which is pretty unprotected Sometimes, I mean, if you're like on the street, it's just you and your trick. That's yeah, that's true. It's pretty scary over there, what, out what, there. I guess. What, is, what does this work? What does this type of work do to you emotionally? Um, does it build up your self esteem? Does it make you depressed? Does it sometimes it makes you like very like depressed and very like low because like there's such mean people out there. Like people think like, because you're in this lifestyle that like they can just degrade you and say like the meanest things ever and stuff because we are, or you know, I am a, a sex symbol, I guess. But it kind of builds up my self-esteem because growing up I, I was a very like ugly little child at times that's what i thought and like boys weren't really like interested in me so i got into my looks and then you know boys were interested in stuff so um i like the attention mm -hmm. like i feel pretty so I get it. yeah yeah do, do your parents know you're doing this um they have an idea <laughs> You know, I don't live with them. Like, I have my own place. I have my own stuff. But... How old are you? 
I'm 24. 24. Yeah. Um, but they have an idea, which, like, my parents are very strict. They're super strict. They're very, like, religious. And I'm just, like, the crazy one. Are you the like, fast one the in your family? family? I wouldn't call myself fast, but, like, I'm, I'm just I'm just a little crazy. Like my mom would say, un poquito loca, I don't know, whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> you, you're 24. Have you had boyfriends? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And does doing sex work and boyfriends they don't, live together? No. It's hard, right? They don't mix. Don't get me wrong. Guys love strippers. Men love strippers. Men love a woman that knows that she's sexy and you know cute but personally me like me and boyfriends i just mm. yeah what why do you think men love strippers or girls like that well half of the time they're either married or they have a girlfriend and it's hard to say but a lot of men aren't loyal like let's just be honest like we live in a world where um, men are going to step out of their relationship and there's nothing you can really do about it. So men have this like fantasy. Um, I used to do Google searches for my own name and I was always really disturbed what I'd find. Seeing my personal information out there for anyone to grab, it's just uncomfortable. That's why I've started using Aura the sponsor of today's video. Aura not only shows me which data brokers are peddling my info, but also takes action by sending opt-out requests on my behalf. Data brokers are making a fortune by selling our personal information to anyone willing to pay for it. It's not just harmless information and marketing stuff. They're selling everything from your email, home address, to your health records, even details about your relatives. Cleaning up my digital footprint isn't just avoiding scam emails. It's about protecting myself from potential hackers who could exploit that information and wreak havoc on my life. From antivirus protection to VPN and password management, Aura's got it all covered. It's like having a digital security guard on duty 24-7. I'm too busy to deal with this stuff, but with Aura, I can go about my day knowing that my privacy is being safeguarded, leaving me free to focus on what really matters. So if you value your privacy as much as I do, go to aura.com forward slash soft white underbelly to start your 14-day free trial. The link is in the video description box below. And now back to the video of wanting something more than what they already have at home. So you go to the club and you see this beautiful girl and she's making you feel good and talking to you really nice and at home. And she's you, wearing an outfit like what you're wearing? Yeah, you, you know, like she has the boots, she has beautiful blonde hair, she has the boobs, she's, it's, it's just, it, you know, it looks good. So every man has a fantasy girl. Not many guys have what you are offering here at home. Yeah, and a lot of guys don't have that fantasy at home. Do you respect the guys that come into the club and, or, or pick you up in your other occupations? I respect anybody, really. As like, long as they have money in their pocket? As long as you, yeah, as long as you have money in your pocket and you respect me, then I respect you. Once you step that boundary of disrespecting me, then, um, yeah, we're, we're not are, are, doing that. You've been doing this for how long now? It seems like a few years. Maybe like seven, eight years. Seven, eight years. So are you addicted to the fast money now? I wouldn't say like addicted. It's not like, you know what? I'm a liar. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's like a drug. Like, it's, it's like... There's no job out here, personally, like that's gonna pay me thousands of dollars for like 30 minutes. There's men out here that will pay you thousands of dollars for your time, for like an hour, which is pretty crazy. You're making but. it sound too good. There's gotta be some downsides Oh no, it. of course, yeah, there's, there's some like downsides to it, but growing and learning and going through what I've been through, you learn how to like avoid that. So there's men who like, I'll be like dancing and stuff and they try to like finger me and shit. And I'm just like, like, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, that's, that's not nice. 
So yeah, there's men who like overstep and then that's when I have to switch to my bad side, which I don't like to do, but I have to switch like to my bad side and then tell them like, hey, please don't do that. It, has your respect for men changed since you've been doing this kind of work? Oh yeah, for sure. You see, you see men differently now? Yeah. <laughs> do, do you believe in love? Um. Yeah, I feel like. Or, or is love just a transaction? No, I believe in love. Like there is someone out there for everyone. So right now, do I believe in love? Like, do I want love from a man? Not really. I'm, I'm not in that stage of my life right now. But yeah, there's a lot of men who have love for girls and stuff and, you know. Do you have any regrets in your life? Um, that's a hard question to answer. You're young yet. Yeah. Is, is this a lonely lifestyle for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though you have guys all around you all the time. Yeah, like they're not they're not the guys you want. But it's not nobody I would take like serious. I guess you can say like there's very nice men out there like they're very nice and they're very, you know, cuz they want to be around you. They like they want to be around me. They want to be around a pretty girl. They want to take out a, a pretty girl and stuff, but at the end of the day, you have to pay me. So What's what's the best offer you've ever had? Do you have guys who just like want to get you to um, I had this one customer who, um, he just wanted to take me out to the casino and he wanted me to spend, I think like two days with him, but I spent it, but I spent like, like one day with him. Um, and he ended up paying me like 20,000 just to like be at the casino with him and just be like around his arm and stuff. So. It's pretty good, like. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Are drugs a part of your life? Mm -mm. No drugs? Mm -mm. No. Good for you. Yeah, I don't judge anyone that does it and stuff, but um, I tried weed, like I've smoked before. It's not for me, I get really bad anxiety. I've tried. Do you drink alcohol? No, I don't. So when, you, when you're, you're dancing at a topless or strip uh, totally naked club? It's topless. Topless. Mm -hmm. But even still, whether you're working as an escort or whatever, mm -hmm. it's, it's, is it hard to do that kind of work sober? Not for me. You can do it. Because mm -hmm. I've, I've talked to a lot of girls who said you got to be. Yeah, some girls, which I don't, I don't understand personally because I feel like drugs can affect you like mentally, obviously. And you never know with these men, like they can just turn around and just do the craziest of things. Like, and I just wouldn't personally put myself in that position to be in danger. Like I'm already in danger as it is. So I'm not gonna like put drugs and alcohol in my system and make it worse. Have you had bad experiences? Yeah. Like what, what, what kind of thing? Yeah. Um, I had a guy when I was working the net. Um, he had came into the room and working the what? The net. So like oh, the, the internet. Internet. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. um, he had came into the room and I normally pat down like everyone just because like you're coming into my room i don't know what you have don't come in here and do s a anything crazy but this time i forgot to do that he had came into my room i'm like hey babe um i turn around to close the door and he pulls out a gun on me and he's like get on the bed get naked um it's like okay and then um yeah, he like raped and robbed me for whatever reason. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> Something like that would make a, a lot of women look for another career. Yeah, but like I said, um, 
the good always the bad. The money, the money. <laughs> the, it's the money. It's the money that just outweighs the bad. I get it. What, yeah. what makes you happy? Damn, that is a really hard question. Cause I don't want to be like cliche and be like money makes me happy, you know, which it does obviously. Mm -hmm. But um, just being here, just being alive, just being alive, really like being healthy, being healthy, having another, you know, having another day, having family. You, you don't have kids, right? No. Do you feel like this kind of work somehow affects your your soul? Yeah, I feel like I'm more. Um, I'm a little colder now mm -hmm. when it comes to men. Um, I don't trust men. Um, but you understand you're you're meeting a certain type of man in the club or on the street. That's true, but I've dealt with both. So I've dealt with a square man, mm -hmm. you know, and then I've dealt with a man that's like in the club before so like i know like both sides and stuff not everyone is the same i understand that but personally like i just i just the trust in men that i have is very little yeah so do you believe in karma oh yeah <laughs> oh my god yes i do i have such bad karma and this is why i try not to do bad things in life <laughs> you're one of the few that because, has admitted they might have bad karma no because it's so true like i really really believe in that like i've done some bad things like i've probably done a couple men very wrong robbed them yeah, yeah. um <laughs> um i love your honesty and karma literally like the very next day comes around and just kicks me in my ass like it's so bad. Karma's real. Don't do bad to people because karma will come. It's not. Is a square life, has it become unappealing now or just too boring? Yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't see myself being a square, not anytime soon. Like, it's just boring. Like, yeah, you've, been it's, the, you've been in the streets now for yeah. a long time a very very long time and i don't judge anyone and i don't you know try to think like i'm better than like a square and stuff because a lot of squares think they're better than like sex workers and like sure they're very judgmental very judgmental and it's like i am the sweetest soul ever i am sweet and i am caring i am loving and stuff but don't think because you're not in this work of life that you can just be mean to people. That's not, it's not nice. What was the relationship like that you saw with your mom and dad? Were they, they stayed married? Yeah, they're still married. Um, but it's like a sad marriage. <laughs> like, if you aren't happy with somebody, you shouldn't be with them. No matter if you guys have kids or not, like, at first, like, it was very, like, loving and stuff. My dad, he's very cold. And that's kind of, like, fucked up to say, but it's it's the truth. He's very, um, he doesn't know how to show love. But what was your relationship like with your dad? We don't really have a relationship now. Um, he's just... He's just very cold. <laughs> uh, like, like there's girls out there who have like a very like loving relationship with their dad, and like I always thought to myself like I like I want that, um, but I don't. <laughs> but he's a great man though. He he he's a great man. Like he made sure like um, I had everything. You know, like food, clothes, a roof over my head so he did what a father is supposed to do but a dad that's like loving not really he wasn't the warmest father yeah mm -hmm. he wasn't might, might have been a good provider and all mm -hmm. that yeah, yeah exactly every every guy's got his strengths and his weaknesses yeah 
I don't judge him though. I love him. And I know he loves me. He just has a hard time showing it. That's it. It's nice that you can see it that way. Yeah. <laughs> the other girls that are like at the club, for example, are they competitive with you? Are you are you friends with them or is it kind of a I try to just mind my business. Um that's what you kinda like need to do working at the club because you don't want to step on like nobody's toes literally <laughs> you have friends um not really kind of sad to say but no, no not um, really. almost none of the sex worker females that i talk to yeah and that sucks because like we're all like in the same lifestyle the same work and you would think like we would be friends but Bitches are grimy. Like, <laughs> they're so grimy and they're fucking fake. So it's just like, I'm not, I just, I, I just can't. And then I don't have square friends because square friends tend to like talk about what you do. Like, it's, it just sucks. I have no friends. <laughs> are women, is it, is the problem that women are just competitive? You, they see you as a threat because you're very, Sexy and attractive? Um, maybe. I've never really asked, like, why don't you like me? And I never you won't get an honest answer if you did. Right. <laughs> yeah, I probably like, I just don't like you, you know? Like, I don't know. Girls are just, girls are just mean. And I don't understand why, because I'm not mean. So. But what personality traits have helped you survive in this lifestyle? And what do you mean by that? Like, are you particularly resilient? Are you... A go-getter? Are you a hustler? Are you a... I'm a hustler. <laughs> I'm a hustler. Um, I'm a get-it by all means. Are you, so, saving, are you saving money? Of course, yeah. You, you can't just be... I'm not a baller, you know, but... Um, You're only 24. Yeah, I'm only 24. So, no. But you have a bank account. Of course. You have a car. Of course. You have an apartment. Of course. Good for you. That puts you well ahead of a lot of your competition. Yeah. Some. <laughs> what is the hardest part of this lifestyle for you? Um, just being seen as like a sex symbol. Sex object. Sex object, yeah. Just um, being seen as. That's all, the, that's all the people see you yeah. as. And it's like, I'm more than that. Like, I'm smart, I'm fun, I'm, 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 I'm sweet. But, you know, you go to the club, you don't want this fun, sweet, shy little girl. Like, no, you, you want this sexy, bomb, just not awkward type of person. And... I feel like I'm more than that, mm -hmm. you know? Some men aren't going to see that side, obviously, but I'm more than just a sex object. What do you think the most misunderstood thing is about girls like you? Girls that do this kind of work. That we're dirty. I swear, I do not understand why people think strippers, escorts, prostitutes, like we're just dirty. Like, yes, we deal with a, a lot of men, obviously, but you'll be surprised. Like the girls who aren't strippers and aren't, you know, prostitutes and escorts and stuff, they're dirtier. Like I'm protected at all times. Like I, I, I get checked, I go to the doctors, I do what I need to do and stuff. And a lot of these girls who aren't in this lifestyle, they don't do that. So I hate being called dirty because I'm not. And yeah, that's, 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 that's really it. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult to be around so many people that have something devious on their mind? What do you mean by that? Like the guys are probably cheating. A lot of your clients are probably cheating on their wives. Oh, for sure, yeah. And a lot of the guys are just hustlers and they're probably trying to be pimps or something like that. That's none of my business. 
<laughs> that is none of my business. You you have to like until it is separate. That's true, but you have to like separate yourself with other people's you know problems and what they have going on and stuff. Cause that's none of my business. Like I'm here to make my money and go home. Do you ever, you ever just stand back and look at your life, you know, like come up, wake up from a long night of sleep and, and realize what the hell am I doing with my life? No, it's a I crazy lifestyle. Life. It's a crazy lifestyle. It is a crazy lifestyle, but I don't regret being in it. I love what I do. You love it. Yeah, and I feel like you need to love what you do because if you don't, you're just going to be sad and depressed and just mad at the world. And, like, I don't have time to be mad at the world because of what I choose to do. So When you see a bunch of guys at the club, what, what, what do you look for? A nice watch, nice shoes? For one, clean fingernails. I swear you'll be very, very, like, surprise on how many men come in with like dirty fingernails and i feel like a man who has clean fingernails has a very very nice big bank account you know and 99 percent of the time they do and that's what you need to go for a man that has nice fingernails a watch, obviously, a suit. Nice car. Nice car. Are you looking for a guy that might have some of those things? Like, to take serious? To or? take seriously? Maybe, no. Maybe if he accepted your lifestyle? No. No? Mm -mm. You're not even entertaining it? No. I'm not looking for a boyfriend. I don't want a boyfriend. Like, I don't do boyfriends. I don't do... It's just too square right now. I'm not in my square vibe right <laughs> you're, now. You're, like you're, these, are your, these are your wild years. Yeah, I guess you could say these are my least wild go-getter hustling years. What do you see yourself doing in five years? Um, I'm in school right now. Oh, you are. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm. I'm not gonna say like what. You don't need but, to. You yeah. don't need to say anything. Um. So in five years, I'll probably be well off, I'm pretty sure. Good for you. Um, and be focusing on my career, hopefully. I like that you're thinking with the future in mind. Yeah, you have to. Um, girls get very, like, sucked in, and they don't think of um, – the future like you're not going to be doing this forever you know um one day like your body's going to give out <laughs> like i don't want to be like 40 doing this that's pretty fucking crazy and there's girls there who who are 40 years old and doing this no no shame no shame at all but i personally don't want to be that so you have to have like goals and you have to know like a plan and stick with that plan because you're not going to get any younger. Like, I remember when I was 19 doing this. I'm 24 now. So. Yeah. Out of the different, the, whether you're escorting or doing OnlyFans or doing, uh, working at a club, what, how, are, how are those different from each other? Um, well, like I said, working at a club, you turn dates in there and stuff. And it's safer because you're in, you're with, a lot of people mm -hmm. so um johns or tricks or clients whatever you want to call them um they have to behave yeah they're like way way less likely to like do something to you right there or spend time with you because mm -hmm. you can right like okay over, right? let's go Ooh, but with with the time stuff um that's how i am with like escorting and stuff like my time is what you pay me for if you want more time then you just pay me more and just that's just that that's just how it is so have there, there been guys who have gotten attached to you and they they want to they want more than just the oh yeah 
and I'm not a mean girl. Like I'm, I'm very nice, but it's just sometimes you need to put your foot down and tell them like, no, like that just makes them like you more though. Yeah, you'll you'll be surprised. Like I, I've had this client who has told me like, you're so mean. I love it. I'm like. Do I need to be sweet to you or something? <laughs> like, there's there's weird men out there. But, yeah, they grow attached very, like, easily sometimes. And I'm just like, it's not that. And I don't want to hurt your feelings, but it's not. Are you becoming jaded? <sighs> I wouldn't say that. I don't think so. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one guy will come around and you'll see things very differently. Maybe, but don't come around right now. <laughs> Ariel, what would you say is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? Um, be kind. I know that's like cliche to say, but like you never know what someone's going through. Like... You honestly don't know when it'll be like the last time that you see someone or talk to someone or be around somebody. And you never know what people are going through. Like, I may look like I'm just a very happy and just I'm getting money and I'm, lo I'm love loving my life. But there's times where, like, I break down, obviously, like I'm a girl. So just be kind to people. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ariel, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you. I wish you lots of luck. Thanks. Thanks.